Spell it, Chief. It's Paul Robeson, P-A-U-L-R-O-B-E-S-O-N. Okay. All right. Um, so last night on January 2nd, uh, we were called over to 413 Hank Street in reference to a disturbance. And when we arrived, officers found that there was somebody inside the house. And then they observed that there was blood on the outside of the door. And once they made entry, they found a male laying on the ground with multiple stab wounds, along with another male inside the house. The second male was taken to the hospital on, uh, for some medical issues that he was having. And we then proceeded to call out the Smith County crime scene to assist with the investigation as well as their investigators. And they're still currently at the scene and hope to have the scene cleared up in the next couple of hours. So you say the second person had medical issues. Was it related to the crime? Was he injured? He did not appear to have any injuries. He was having some, some kind of medical condition. I don't know what was wrong. Okay. Is that the person that you're going to have in custody? He is believed to be the suspect at this time. Do we know if both of the men are the occupants of the home? Like if they both actually live at the home? That part we don't know yet. We're still trying to get some answers in this, in, during this time. And as you say, it's an ongoing investigation. Do you expect to have something by this evening or so? Or? I hope to have something this evening, but it's uh, depending on certain other things that are going to happen tonight. What all agencies are working on this? Because I know in the press release you had mentioned Smith County. Smith County uh, has been the, I guess we'd call the, uh, the co-investigation with us. They helped do the crime scene for us. Uh, we greatly appreciate their help with that, as well as helping us with search warrants and other paper uh, items that need to get done in interviews. Uh, I also just called Troop PD. They're helping us with something down in their city as well. Uh, again, grateful for their help with that. And then uh, we've also met with the district attorney's office, and they've been at the scene this morning helping as well. And earlier you said, uh, when I talked to you on the street, could you describe the injuries? You, did, you described the injuries. Could you do that again also? Um, the injuries consisted of multiple stab wounds, um, various parts of the body. And you're not sure about the relationship between these two? We, we don't know the relationship right now. But it's only those two that are involved as of right now? Yes, there's no other suspects or victims at this time. Do we know, know who made the call, the initial call that got your guys there in the first place? It, it came from somebody in the neighborhood who heard a disturbance. Had you all been to this home before? I, I don't know. And you said it was an adult male, is that all you can say? That's, that's all I know at this time. Has the family been notified? We're still working on all of that. That's part of the ongoing part of this. Anything you'd like to add, Chief, that you, we forgot to ask you? Uh, as soon as I can get some more information out, I will definitely send it out. Um, if I didn't get your email, make sure you give me that. Give me whatever emails you want. And uh, we're trying to build an email list. So give me those, and we will send it out as soon as I get information. Um, I think that, um, I'm, as a prediction, I think in the next couple of days at least we'll have uh, an arrest made. I did have one uh, more thing, and it sounds like this is an isolated event, but just to calm anyone sure. who might be wondering, should neighbors be concerned, anyone else concerned? I, I don't see any reason for anybody to be concerned. I think it is definitely isolated like you had spoken. Thank you, Chief. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.